y'all and welcome back to another video. Today is going to be episode tres or three of the vlogumentary that I've decided to just randomly start doing. I am wearing the same outfit that I was wearing in episode two because I didn't feel like changing it. I just was on a roll today and wanted to film a bunch of videos. So this video is going to be vlog style. The intro is just kind of me just really quickly but I just wanted to show you guys an updated apartment tour because let's be real the first episode was about an empty apartment tour but that was taking footage from I hear you mama I'm coming that was from taking footage from I don't know if you guys can see her she's like right there being a big baby yeah um but that was footage from back in March so I wanted to kind of give you guys an update because we have moved in we've been here for six months we've totally updated a lot of things yeah so I figure I don't know this may be a bit vlog style a bit me sitting down in different areas it depends on anyways she doesn't like being in a different room if I'm in a different like she doesn't like being in a different room from me but if I leave the house she's fine you know what I mean it's so weird but she's like literally like my shadow she wants to be everywhere with me right next to me anyways so let's go ahead and dive into this apartment tour keep in mind we've barely decorated we've really been focused on getting major furniture pieces because we had kind of like kitty furniture like college kind of adult furniture and now we kind of really wanted to we wanted to have investment pieces that we could keep with us for a long time so without further ado welcome to my current apartment tour Hey, I'm Shanae. After spending years on a deeply inward spiritual journey, I'm now ready to spiral on out. Here's my journey of me doing just that, living my life. Welcome to my documentary. Okay, so we're gonna just start with the living room. So you guys remember this was pretty empty. I'll try to insert clips of what it did look like empty, but this is our new couch, guys. It's freaking huge. Like, this is our living room and that's a pee pad. That's Luna's bed. She also stole one of our blankets. Well, we gave it to her. Anyways, look at her, look at her, guys. Ugh, I love this dog. Okay, so long story short, we had a blue couch. I'll try to insert a picture or a video clip here. Um, it was a blue velvet couch that I had from World Market and I was in love with it. Unfortunately, while we were staying with my parents, we left it in their garage and it got infested with gnats. So when we moved in, we had to get rid of it. Um, and I was really distraught. So we actually just got this couch in September. So we went a whole six months without having a couch. We pretty much just sat either on the bed or at the table. So <laughs> that was pretty much our life for a short, well, a long period of time. But now we have a couch, um, slowly decorating it, as you guys can see, just added a little bit of kind of fall slash. I'm trying to mix colors so that I, I don't have to change them out, but we've got two pillows here, two pillows there. These other ones came with the couch and then we have this blanket. So I'm thinking like the orange is kind of like fall. The green goes across all seasons. Red is for winter. Yellow is for more for summer. And then I just need a color for spring. Um, I want to get some bigger square pillows for the spring color. I just don't know what color yet. Um, so yeah, this is our couch. It's huge. It's amazing. We also have this blanket. So if you're wearing black, you know, <laughs> we just don't want this to get dyed. And we do not allow Luna on the couch for many reasons. Um, obviously, we have her bed and stuff, tripod. This is our desk area that we currently don't really use very much. Um, it's a hot mess. We have our printer and our computer, our file cabinet, you know, basic office stuff. Um, a stack of mail and things that need to be filed. <laughs> Um, and then we have like all of these books and things. I definitely want to make this look prettier. I'm probably gonna, I don't know. I have no idea yet, but this is kind of where we are as far as the office space. Um, I don't really feel like taking you guys outside because there's not much out there besides the lonely chair. Um, but that's our patio. Um, not much going on there and probably won't be for a while. It's not a priority for us right now. 
So moving on to the kitchen slash dining room. Ah! All right, so this is our kitchen. It's, it's a mess, it's a mess right now, it's a mess. Look, this is a real house tour, okay? So keep in mind, this table is not, hi mama. This table's not gonna be here forever. Um, I, we've had this table since our first apartment. It is, it's functioned as a kitchen table, as a desk. It's been with us forever. I got it from Target way back in the day. Um, and these chairs we got, I think from Amazon, to be honest. Um, we wanna get rid of these chairs and this table. We have our eye on a table that we want. We just haven't made the plunge yet. Um, but we did, we went to living spaces, by the way. So that's where we got this couch and actually our bed, which I'll show you. And then this cabinet thing. Um, originally the plan was to put it in the living room, but then when we got all the stuff in, we realized it wasn't gonna fit. So now it's in here. Um, it holds so much stuff that I need to hide in there, like all of Luna's pee pads, her dog toys. Let me come over here so she doesn't feel so alone. Come on, baby girl. You wanna say hi? Say hi, vlog. Say hi, say hi. Yeah, so you see my new teeth coming in? Let me show you my teeth. No, you don't wanna show them? All right, sit. Good girl, good girl, stay. Okay, okay, jump. Good girl. <laughs> say, I know some stuff, I know some steps. So, um, yeah, so this is what I have going on. The pie cones aren't gonna stay there forever. Um, honestly, I bought them because we were trying to find healthy, non-toxic ways to help the house smell fresh. I ended up getting plug-ins because the pine cones weren't really doing it for me. Um, but these candlesticks and the vases and the fake bay leaves all from Target. Um, I'm not done yet. I want to put something in the middle. I want to put some art over there. I'm actually going to be moving this against this wall where it used to be. It's just right now we kind of have her leashed to it because this is the one piece of furniture she can't move. <laughs> um, so yeah, once we get that all sorted out, you know, and she, we also got to sort out, she, she eats over here, she has her pee pads. So right now it's kind of like a dog play area, just like the living room. So it's kind of crazy. Moving on, we have the kitchen, which again, you guys, I have all my stuff on the counter. I've been doing work and washing dishes and stuff, but our kitchen hasn't really changed much. Um, working on finding better decor to hold soap in for hand soap and stuff um, and finding things to store. Like if you guys know, like we have really hard water in Texas um, and however they built these sinks, the hard water is splattering onto this part of the, the granite and it's just like destroying it. If you guys have any tips on how I can fix that beyond also getting like little trays to put things in which I'm working on let your girl know <laughs> um beyond that I mean I, we have our blender we've always had we have this handy dandy tea maker that I freaking love which anyways um goes right there we have our oven mitts this is our laundry room with our hamper trash can recycle bin a whole bunch of stuff I'm going to find a better way to organize all this stuff. And I'm going to make videos of all of this because it's fun for me. And I'm learning to just have fun with you guys on YouTube. Stop being so freaking serious all the time, right? Um, so we've got an, a toaster, finally. <laughs> um, and we got it on sale. We did not pay full price. We went to the Pottery Barn outlet. So, good stuff. That's also where we got this. We've been... Let me, let me just tell you guys. So I have been switching all of my kitchen stuff to stainless steel because stainless steel is the one thing that does not grow mold and a whole bunch of bacteria and it's a lot easier to clean. So I literally have two pots. I have this one here, well, right there. And then I have a cast iron one that I'm going to be getting rid of and replacing with a better quality one because the one I got is from Target and it's not the best quality. Um, but I love it because it can go in the oven and things like that. Um, but we've been, I'm going to show you guys, we've been replacing like all of our stuff. So Costco is my best friend <laughs> for this reason. Recently just replaced my one, I had one knife and it had a wooden handle and you could start to see that there was stuff building up there no matter how much you wash and hand dry it. Um, so these are all stainless steel all the way through, no 
no areas for stuff to get into. Um, we've got our stainless steel. We also got these, I think, from, um, I think we bought these from William Sonoma. Um, but they probably also sell them at the Pottery Barn Outlet because the Pottery Barn Outlet sells everything. Um, William Sonoma, Pottery Barn, West Elm, all of them are kind of like in one family. Um, there's, no, there's other stores too that are in there. But we've been slowly replacing everything. Um, I'm planning on getting a stainless steel cutting board as well. I just haven't ordered one yet. Um, so yeah, been replacing everything. I mean, even down to like, I got mugs. <laughs> that are stainless steel. Um, I also have ceramic ones. Um, we have, we've been slowly building up. So like I can show you, we have been slowly building like our cups, you know, they're all one color before we had mismatching everything. We have a lot of dishes in the dishwasher right now. Um, we've recently gotten new plates, um, you know, all kinds of things. So we're slowly building that up. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much our kitchen in a nutshell slash laundry room. I'm going to take you guys to the bedroom really quick. Hopefully she doesn't have a hissy fit. I'll be right back, mama. Okay. So welcome to the bedroom. Nothing really exciting. We have a huge dog crate because she's going to be huge. It's an eyesore, but it is what it is, at least until she's fully trained to be able to not have to go in the crate when we're not home or at night when we're asleep. Um, this is our bed. We got this bed from Living Spaces just like the um the couch and the cabinet thing that we have this was actually the first thing we purchased and i can insert a clip here of when we actually bought it because it's the most highest price bed we've ever purchased i can't even get the whole thing in frame um it is i can hear her already so let me try to move where she can see me i'm right here okay um so it is a king size i forget exactly what kind of king we don't yet have i did buy okay so i did buy a comforter from target for like 70 80 dollars but we didn't end up loving it it was like a yellow velvety one and eh, it didn't really feel like us so we've had our two blankets which we've had forever we travel with these and everything um and our sheets and like thankfully you know it's not too cold out yet um these keep us pretty warm at night um we keep the thermostat pretty warm too we keep it around 76 77 it's summertime still kind of here. Yeah, so basically we have our sheet set. These blankets eventually won't be here anymore. We sleep with satin pillowcases. Um, eventually going to replace them with silk. But yeah, these nightstands are also really, really old and are out almost on their way out. Or going to be used and repurposed for something else. And then this lamp I also got from Costco because... I needed a reading lamp, <laughs> but eventually this will be replaced too. So everything slowly but surely is going to be phased out as we get our more investment forever pieces. Um, but like I said, it the main focus has been getting the major pieces of furniture. So the couch, the bed, you know, the, um, the cabinet to store extra things. And then the kitchen table and chairs would be like the last major thing beyond like a rug for the living room. And then from there, it's like it's decorative. It's art, mirrors, lamps, um, bedding, pillows, things like that. Um, beyond that, I just have the bathroom, I guess, and the closet. The closet's a bit of a hot mess. I will be making a video at some point on how I end up organizing this space because right now, you guys, like it's kind of crazy. Um, <laughs> we've got pee pads, we've got our dresser in here, which we don't even really love anymore, but we're grateful to have it. So anyways, that's the closet in a nutshell. It's a walk-in closet. It's full of stuff. I'm working on it. <laughs> and then the last room before my camera has a meltdown because it's telling me it's hot, um, is the kitchen. I mean the kitchen, the bathroom. You can see me. Hello. Hello. Um, so again, it's we're building. We literally just got a bathroom rug and just got a shower curtain. We've had no shower curtain for six months. Um, and both of those were from West Elm. So was this mirror thing. Um, but beyond that, I mean, it's nothing decorative in here. My towels are a hot mess right now. It's pretty plain Jane. Um, I definitely want to 
I don't know, my home decor is coming out in me. I went through a very long period of time where I just didn't care about my home. I just like, I just didn't care. And I, again, I think a big part of that was I put my whole life on hold because one area wasn't adding up the way that I wanted it to. So I essentially said, oh, you guys are looking at my stomach. Sorry. So I essentially said, you know, well, F it. I'm just going to wait until I hit this level in life before I actually move forward in life. And I'm telling you, once we had that like epiphany moment and we're like, what the hell are we doing? We're literally wasting our days away doing nothing because we haven't hit this level in life yet and we're putting everything on hold and ever since then it's just like that, that was all she wrote you know so we've been piece by piece you know changing things up allowing us to really just go for what we want and just you know play with life and have fun and it's been an amazing journey you guys um i can't say it enough it's been an amazing ride but Anyways, that's the updated apartment tour at this point. Um, I'm really excited about all the pieces. I mean, I can't tell you guys. We basically lived in an empty space for six months, minus the bed and the table. We had a table, we had a bed, but it didn't feel like home. And it's crazy how adding a couch and the cabinet just helps it feel a lot more like home. How adding the little decor pieces of a rug in the bathroom so we don't have to get out and touch a cold floor or you know a shower curtain so we're not just looking at a white curtain liner you know just the little things they really do add up and they make a difference um so yeah my goal with the whole home series in this vlogumentary is gonna be to you know show you guys any hauls maybe that happen like if i all of a sudden go out and we get like a whole bunch of decor stuff or if i start feeling like a room is almost finished kind of like updating you on that we might just do like updates room by room um so that maybe i can pick a room and focus on finishing that before i move on to the next i'm not quite sure how it's all gonna pan out um but yeah this is my life right now you know we've got a dog we've got a home and we're slowly building it up and i'm just so excited to take you guys on this journey with us so with that being said uh thank you so much for tuning in make sure you give this video a thumbs up if you're enjoying this vlogumentary series and i will see you in the next video bye